in today's health alert, one case of monkeypox has been confirmed in Massachusetts and six other possible cases are being monitored in the U.S. For more on this, we're going to bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, what can you tell us about these cases? So, Glenda, the, the six people are being monitored for monkeypox. We're all passengers or on a flight from Nigeria to the United Kingdom. And the reason why they're being so closely watched is because an infected traveler who had developed symptoms was also on the plane. So far, all six people are healthy, no symptoms. And Glenda, they're considered to be at low risk of infection because they did not sit directly besides or had direct contact with the infected person. As for the man from Massachusetts, he's been hospitalized but reported to be in good condition. His case of monkeypox was confirmed after a trip to Canada. Besides those cases, we also have New York City's health department, and they've said that they're investigating a possible case of monkeypox as well, but few details have really been released thus far. So how might this disease be spreading, and is it dangerous, and can it be treated? So, Glenn, mon monkeypox does not occur naturally in the U.S. We don't hear about it. Cases typically are linked to international travel or folks who are importing animals from areas where the disease is more common, like West Africa or Central Africa. Now, humans, they can get monkeypox from animals via scratches, bites, or preparing meat from wild game. And human-to-human -human transmission can happen via large respiratory droplets. You get skin lesions, contaminated linens or bedding, or direct contact with body fluids. Having said all that, the cause is still under investigation. As for your question about how dangerous the virus is, up to one in 10 people who contract the disease in Africa die from monkeypox. Those are not small numbers. It causes flu-like symptoms like fevers, chills, muscle aches, and, and headaches. Then a rash and lesions can develop on the face and other parts of the body. Right now, there are no proven treatments for the monkeypox viral infection. There is a vaccine, however, the smallpox vaccine, and, and that can prevent uh, monkeypox as well. And health officials are discussing whether healthcare workers, Glenda, who have been treating the monkeypox patients should be offered it. Now, I don't want folks to go crazy and panic about this virus. The last time we had a monkeypox outbreak here in the U.S. was back in 2003. 47 cases were identified, so this is not something that's going to sweep through the entire country and our communities as COVID has. Overall, the risk of getting monkeypox is very low. Important, it's very low, but people should still be aware of the symptoms and talk to a doctor if there are any concerns at all. And we'll keep an eye on this and give you, you know, any, any breaking news that's coming up, we'll give that to you. Looks like those lesions are even bigger than chicken pox. Yeah, it really does. And, you know, we don't see it in the U.S., but, you know, as the cases mount, if they do, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it and let people know. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for your time. My pleasure. And don't forget, you can watch a new episode of the Dr. Nandy Show this Sunday at 1 p.m. This week, Dr. Nandy is talking about what, how you put it in your mouth and what affects your body.